Because one of my strongest beliefs is that the truth about the human world can't be contained in a single uh, philosophy or a single system of ideas. And I even fear and I'm suspicious of any project, whether it be an intellectual project or a political project, which aims to unify and harmonize human thought or human life within a single system. One of the 20th century writers I have most valued and who I've referred to in my writings many times since uh, over the last 15 years is the Portuguese writer Fernando Pessoa, uh, uh, both for his prose works and for his wonderful poetry. Unlike Pessoa, I can't claim to have 70 or 80 identities. I haven't got 70 or 80 heteronyms, maybe only two or three. Um, I'm not as creative or as pluralistic, perhaps, as Pessoa, but like Pessoa, um, I'm uh, resistant to any idea of any belief that what we should aim for is a single uniform identity, a single type of society, let's say, which prevails throughout the world, that what we should aim for is an end to conflict. And this, of course, in a way, fits in to the main theme of this year's Frontiers of Thought program, which is, can we live together uh, in the world? Certainly, I'll tell you my conclusion straight away, so um, uh, you'll know where I'm leading. My thought my, is that, in one sense, we can live together, because the world in the future, like the world at present, the human world and the world in the past, will consist not of one civilization or one type of society or one view of the world. It will consist of many regimes. I believe that in the future, as in the past, there will be liberal democracies and illiberal democracies. There will be constitutional monarchies and republics. There will be tyrannies and empires and zones of anarchy in the future, just as there have been in the past. So any dream of a universal system, whether it be communist or anarchist or neoliberal, free market or positivist, is, I think, an illusion. Um, we have found in the 19th and 20th centuries and in the first decades of this new 21st century that none of these dreams have come about. None of these dreams show any signs of um, um, uh, becoming closer to the reality, but they continually are renewed. And sometimes they're renewed in violent forms. So the violence of this dream of unity, of harmony, of a single system, a single civilization, has had many different forms. In the 20th century, it had um, uh, violent forms in Bolshevism and uh, Leninism and Stalinism and Trotskyism. They were all, to my, in my, and Maoism, forms of organized violence, but it also had forms in Nazism and fascism. Uh, uh, and more recently, in neoconservative projects of regime change.